Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm doing a hair favorites video where I'm sharing with you a bunch of the hair products that I love to use. I have dry shampoos to mention, hair treatments, hair oils, styling products, basically everything hair related. I'm sharing my recommendation with you today. I'll have all the products that I mentioned today in the description box below with a link. If any link has an asterisk beside it, please know that that's an affiliate link and it just means if you purchase a product using one of those links, I can make a commission off of that purchase, but it's no extra cost to you. I just like to be as transparent about that as I can in all of my videos. I also want to say that some of the products that I'm mentioning are a little bit more expensive, but I also have ones that are also on the more affordable end of things. So no matter what your budget is or your preference, hopefully you'll be able to find something that is, you know, going to be good for you. I want to say that my hair type is naturally kind of wavy. I have pretty dry hair and it's also kind of damaged. I've been working on improving the health of my hair really for the past two years at this point and I have come a long way from where I was at that point you know at this time two years ago but obviously there still is some damage that I'm working on improving but there has been quite a few products that I think have helped with the health of my hair along the way so I want to mention those. I also want to mention you know fun products, styling products, those type of things. So, so that is kind of the rundown of today's video. If you have any recommendations for hair products that you're loving, definitely leave them in the comments below down for myself to check out as well as anyone else who may be watching. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into the paper. So the first product I want to recommend is a dry shampoo and this is definitely my most used, most repurchased dry shampoo. Here's what it looks like. It's the Batiste Defrizzing Dry Shampoo. This is $10 at Ulta and obviously as for pretty much any product that you can get at the drugstore, the prices do fluctuate depending on the retailer. So you may be able to find it at a more affordable price depending on where you pick it up from. Now with this dry shampoo it really does I really have two things that like a dry shampoo has to do for me in order for me to enjoy it and that is just making my hair feel clean as well as look clean and this does both of those things. I don't think this actually makes my hair any cleaner like I don't think it's really doing much as far as that goes but it feels clean, it looks clean, and that's what I want a dry shampoo to do. Um, there are some, there's one, there is one dry shampoo that I like better than this one, but it is a lot more expensive, and that is the product I'm going to recommend next. But this is just so affordable, and I really do think it competes with so many of the higher-end dry shampoos. I mean, this one has very minimal buildup. You're getting, you know, a decent amount of product for what you're paying. I feel like the product smells very nice. I do, you know, I've tried out so many of the Batiste dry shampoos. I used the original for a long time. I used the Clean and Fresh for a long time. Honestly, I don't think I've tried a Batiste dry shampoo that I don't like. I think they all work relatively the same. I don't, I truthfully don't think that that one is like exponentially better than another. I will say with this, it says that the formula is supposed to be like um, invisible and to be honest, it is not. And there are very few dry shampoos that I enjoyed that do have an invisible formula. But for me, that's not even an issue, even though I do have darker hair. I just use this, you know, at night before I go to sleep. I'll put it in my hair, kind of massage it in after letting it sit for a second or so. And by the time that I wake up in the morning, there is basically no white cast um, or absolutely no white cast. But you do see it when you initially spray it in there. So I do want to mention that in case that's like a major deal breaker for you. And the reason that I've been using the defrizzing one for a while is really I haven't seen much of a difference when it comes to smoothing my hair and all of that um positively or negatively I don't think you know I've seen much of a difference I just am like it's not really any more expensive than any of the other versions and if there's a chance that it can even help with defrizzing then I'm willing to give it a go so the next product is another dry shampoo and this is my holy girl dry shampoo if I could only use one for the rest of my life this probably would be it but the thing is it's not my re most repurchased because it's just not that much better to justify the price, but it is so good. So if you're wanting a really nice holy grail recommendation, here it is. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Here's what it looks like. This is the mini version, which is $14, but the full size is going to be $25. And this dry shampoo, it is very good. It does the two things, as I mentioned before, that I look for in all dry shampoos, which is making my hair look clean and feel clean. But I feel like with this product that's different from other ones, is it really just makes my hair feel truly clean. Like, not as, well, almost as if I had washed it. You know, not the exact same effect, but very, very similar. It really extends the time between washes of my hair. I mean, when I put this near the roots, um, like near my roots and my hair, it really absorbs a lot of the oils. And 
I do want to note that there is kind of a fragrance on this product. It's got kind of a perfumey scent to it and so does the Batiste one but this one has more of like a perfumey scent and I've heard a lot of people say that they don't really enjoy it. I definitely that's not the reason I you know go for this product is because of the scent but I do like the scent but there are ones that I like better. It's just kind of like a no-go for me. I'm not really super sensitive when it comes to scents overall. There are a few that I really dislike but this one is one I don't you know I really enjoy it and I think it's such a good dry shampoo but it's only for special occasions for me. Next recommendation is a hair oil. This is the Way hair oil. This is just the original version. It's $28 and that seems very pricey and it is. But when I tell you this has 1.5 fluid ounces of product in here and I go through this so incredibly slowly. Like I use it almost every single day and I've already gone through one of them and that one took me I would say a year and a half to two years to finish up. I mean really I go through this so incredibly slowly so it makes it worth it for me. Like I don't feel like splurging is as you know crazy because it's not something that I'm constantly repurchasing. I get a ton of use out of it. And with this hair oil, it's a very lightweight oil. So it's not going to feel overly greasy. Now, of course, if you use like, you know, a huge like golf ball size of product in your hair, it is, it's going to feel greasy. But you really, one, don't need like a ton in your hair. But it also just doesn't feel very heavy and like it's weighing down your hair. Like it really helps more with just improving the shine of your hair and helping with the frizz and flyaways that you may have. That's really what I use this for. And I was doing some like kind of research on this before I did this video. And I found out that it's also supposed to help like prevent any heat damage as well as um, UV damage. Which is in not any but you know it's supposed to help combat those issues. And I did not know that. Um, I can't really speak to it because I haven't necessarily noticed that with this product and it's also supposed to and I remember hearing this address like any damage that you have split ends it's supposed to be helpful with that and I, I'm hoping that it you know has done that I haven't seen like a crazy difference um whereas with some of the other products I have seen that I think for me this is really just a great product for me to put on the ends of my hair and sometimes near the roots if I have any flyaways but I put just the teeniest amount and I think it does help extend the you know style that I have done like if I've you know flat ironed my hair or if I'm curled my hair whatever I'm doing even if I'm just keeping it natural I really like using this to kind of just make it look a little bit more sleek and well done let me move on to the next recommendation which is definitely for those of us who have damaged hair I really think this has helped with not only nourishing my hair but I do think this has helped with you know growing out my hair a little bit this is the briogeo organic be well cold pressed castor oil this right here is 26 dollars, which is again another price your item similar to like the way hair oil it is more expensive but i mean you probably will not go through this i mean i've been using it for a year and a half maybe two years now and i really don't even think i'm halfway through i'm not entirely sure just because the you know the glass is like opaque i think it's like I don't know what type of packaging they use on this, but it's an opaque container, so I can't really see what's inside of it. But I'd imagine if I were to open it up, I would not be super close to the end of using this product. And I do use it every single, well, let me tell you how I use this product. First off, it's an, uh, an organic, 100% castor oil product. It's fair traded, which I do really appreciate. I feel like Briogeo has a lot of just really good values as a brand and of course I could be wrong but it seems like they have like their head screwed on right as a brand and I do really appreciate that but as far as the actual product goes it's a castor oil so it's known for you know nourishing your skin your hair your eyebrows you know another extension of your hair and I know some people use castor oil on their eyelashes I don't necessarily use this product for that just because they don't advertise it and I do feel like it's a little bit heavier in consistency I mean this product like the reason that I don't think I've gone through it very quickly is because castor oil is naturally like just a very thick oil and I do think that this one is thicker than some of the other ones that I've tried out so that's why I don't necessarily use it on my lashes but I do want to find one to use because I, I know that's supposed to help with growth but people have seen real results as far as like their eyebrows I don't want to grow out my eyebrows anymore so I really have not used this for that but the way that I use this product is after I've washed my hair I let it you know air dry typically um I don't really use this if I end up blow drying my hair but if I'm letting my hair air dry which is pretty much every single time I wash it I'll let it air dry and when it's damp to you know just 
slightly damp still like it's not totally dry but it's also not like you know soaking wet kind of that in between phase but I don't think it would be an issue if you did it when it was dry um I wash my hair at night so what I do is I put this in kind of the ends of my hair if you want if you have damage um near the top of your hair and you think your hair can handle like having a little bit more oil to it then you can put it near the top but I really just keep it near my ends because that's one where my most damage is um, and all of that and I do think this really does help with any like breakage that I have split ends and it does say that it's supposed to do that and I I really think this has helped exponentially help with like my hair growth and the health of my hair this has been such an amazing product for me personally and so I'll just put this on the ends of my hair and you know then I will go to sleep sleep on my hair um and I feel like it just helps my hair to look a little bit smoother, be a little bit more tamed. And I do think it helps when I'm styling my hair in the morning if I choose to do so. I think it does make things go a little bit smoother and easier just because I feel like my hair is already protected a little bit and has a little bit of oil to it. Because like I said, I do have pretty dry hair, but really do not go over lid on this because a little bit of it does go an incredibly long way. So here's a recommendation from Dry Bar. It's the Dry Bar Triple Sec 3-in-1 Texturizing Finishing Spray. This is the value size or like the excuse me the travel size so this is going to be $14 but the actual size is 26 for like a regular I guess you would say but with this product I don't use it quite as often as I use some of the other ones that I've been mentioning because I really only use this two different occasions one if my hair is just incredibly flat and I want to add some volume to it which you can tell I wear my hair like I do not love a ton of volume so that doesn't happen too too often um it really only happens if like my hair like needs to be washed and I just can't do it like I just throw in dry shampoo add a little bit of this and it'll add some real volume to it it's supposed to I mean the three purposes of this are amplifying refreshing as well as texture like adding texture to the hair and this definitely does do that but it's a little bit less than like a true texturizing spray because it'll also smooth your hair which is something that I appreciate. Now the other use that I use for this is probably the one that I use more often which is whenever I'm curling my hair. Um, it just is a good kind of styling product that'll make sure my curls stay you know where I want them like it holds them but it's not as tight as and like heavy as maybe a hairspray would be it's just kind of a good in between and I feel like it does a great job at smoothing my hair but also holding the curls in and so this is a go-to for whenever I'm curling my hair but I also do like to use it on occasions where whether my hair is just natural or whether it's been straightened or curled or whatever it may be if it is like I'm stretching when I need to be like wash it like if I'm just trying to really extend the like wear time of my hair this is a great product for that because in combination with dry shampoo it can smooth your hair and make it more, look more voluminous and I do really enjoy it for that it does help with the flyaways which I appreciate as well um so it's smoothing but it adds volume and then also with this product it does smell really really good I'm pretty sure they have a candle and I really want to get it it's just got this like it's called the blank scent and I just I love it like I absolutely adore it if they had it and like a room spray I totally get it the candle I do think is a little bit pricey so we'll hold off on that for a little bit but I really really want it so the next recommendation is another one that really has helped my hair I believe um you know be healthier and stronger and smoother and just help nourish my hair overall it is the Briochio don't despair repair nourishing hair mask it's a deep conditioning hair mask it's $36 for the like regular size version of it and really I went out on a limb trying this I had heard so many people talk about it and finally I believe it was like March I decided to try it and kind of you know splurge I really don't think I've ever spent that much on a hair mask and I was very hesitant but it has exceeded my expectations for real um this is a hair mask that really it's just supposed to you know improve you know any damage that you have going on in your hair it's supposed to improve the health of it but then also it'll help prevent future damage I I really can't speak to, you know, preventing future damage simply because I just don't know if this is exactly what's doing it, but I will say my hair is definitely healthier than it was before and that could be due to this. I will also say that I took a break from using it. I used it from like March all the way until probably the end of July and then I took a break from using it because I did not bring it to college just because you only have so much space and um, like in the shower and everything and I, I'm definitely bringing it this semester when I go back, but this really as like since I've used it since I've come home since I guess that was mm, the middle of November 
I love it. Like I realized just how much I missed it. It really, I think, helps nourish my hair. It feels healthier when it's just like worn, you know, just it's crazy wavy self. And when I'm like going over it with a flat ironer or if I'm like curling it or whatever, however I may be styling it, it helps that process go easier because my hair is already more nourished and it's just easier to work with when I use this product and it's smoother. Like I really do think this has helped nourish my hair a great bit and I find that my hair is just so much better after using this I really have no other words for it it just is an overall amazing product and I mean I still have like so I guess if I took a few months off of it even then like I still have such a good bit of product left and I don't think I'm gonna go through it anytime soon but I do think I will eventually use it up obviously like I don't think it's a forever long product but I do think for like how much you're getting I believe it's like eight ounces which is a lot more than other hair treatments out there that are going to cost probably around this maybe even more so you are getting a decent amount and I do think that the price is justified when you compare it to how much you're getting and what it has done for my hair all right guys that of our opposite up for today thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel it really means so much to me and I'm just so appreciative for all of you guys so thank you so much for spending some time here with me today to listen to me basically rave about all of my favorite hair products I would love to hear what products you've tried out and what are your favorites in the comments below um also if you enjoyed this video and think somebody else may enjoy it definitely be sure and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed I'd really appreciate if you would do so and if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video in the future you can click the bell icon that is next to the subscribe button below and then that way YouTube will notify you whenever I upload something or post something or anything else on the platform. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great couple of days until my next video goes up and I will see you when it goes live. Bye guys!